Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 60 six day challenge 9.0, and today is day 37. So, today we are going to dive back into our campaigns and actually run our first campaign, a social campaign, and show you how to post on your Facebook and Instagram channels. So, let's get into the designs applet, paintbrush, and palette here on the left hand side. I'm sorry, that's our designs. Oh, we've been focused on that one lately. We're going back up to Megaphone, and there's our campaigns applet. We introduced this home screen on our last challenge, so we're gonna go ahead and start off by creating a campaign, and today we're gonna choose a social post. So I've showed you how to connect your social channels in the last challenge. You can see that it automatically defaults to my Instagram, but I can click on this dropdown and say Facebook as well then it's going to give me a preview here on the right hand side of both of those channels i can opt out of instagram if i just want it on facebook or both if you had you know more pages in here you could select which if not all pages that you wanted your post to go out on next up we've got our content block uh, you can see you've got up to 2200 characters that you can type in here you can also add emojis so check out this amazing new Let's just drop in the house. All right, house, there we go. Um, perfect for all, or whatever. Let's obviously leave it at that. You guys get it. You chat GPT if you need a description, something along those lines. Um, but there's your content. And then if you want to have the actual design, which you should, you can add media. This is where you can browse your design library and select something or upload it. I will say that I've had a couple of issues when browsing my design library on the upload, so I've just been bringing it in straight from my actual hard drive. Uh, so this is the one we made last time. There's our preview, and you can see it says square best for most placements. We're gonna go ahead and crop the image. We built it as a square on this design, so it's nice that we're not actually cropping out any necessary information. And once we do on the right hand side, again, you can see that preview. What's that gonna look like on Instagram? What's that gonna look like on Facebook? I can scroll down. In the compliance section, depending on what your content is, you can decide whether you want the ownership statement and DBA logo to be overlaid on your design. So you can see if I click on include ownership statement, it's gonna put it right here, the bottom corner. Because I made this inside designs, I already have the ownership statement, so I don't necessarily need that on this one. Uh, also, you've got the DBA logo. So if you click on include DBA logo, it'll allow you to then upload your Market Center's DBA logo and decide if you want it in the left or right hand corner. In this case, we already had our, well, we have a generic DBA logo here. We already have a logo on the design. So if your DBA logo is included in your design, then you don't necessarily need to include it twice. Finally, you've got the ability to schedule this post or post it immediately. If I choose publish immediately, boom, it's going to hit my Facebook and my Instagram here within a matter of seconds. However, the cool part is you could choose to schedule this post for the future. So let's think about a brand new listing, right? Maybe it's a brand new listing going live next Thursday. I could schedule a coming soon post, right? Do a coming soon design. And I could post that maybe on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, depending on your board's you know, requirements and policies on coming soon. And then on Thursday, I could post just listed. And then on Friday, I could post about the open house happening Saturday morning at 10 a.m. And then on Saturday morning, maybe even at like 7.30 a.m., I could post again. And I could do all of that just you know, every day I could post about it. Or right now, I could schedule all four of those posts. So I could go in and create the designs, right? So I could create a just listed, an open house, and a coming soon. By the way, guys, you can use the same exact template. This is a just listed template, but I can just go in and change these words inside of designs to open house or coming soon and use the same photo. That way it kind of keeps triggering in my audience's mind <clears throat> about this beautiful new listing I have. So one way to think about it, schedule out multiple posts. Let's just go ahead and schedule this one. It's got us going out and you can see the best days to post are Monday, Wednesday, Friday morning. So let's just say, we wanna schedule this for Wednesday morning and let's go 9 a.m. All right, so there we go. Now I can save this post as a draft. Maybe there was something about the design. I have the best content, but I forgot something on the design or vice versa. I can always choose to save the draft or in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and schedule this post. 
It's going to give me a preview of what the post looks like and remind me that it's going out Wednesday, April 30th at 9 o'clock a.m. And I could then click on Schedule Post. So if you're doing a series of these posts, right? And remember, you can schedule these out to about 365 days out. So if you're already thinking maybe you need to do some social posts on um, what holiday is coming up, I don't know, summer solstice maybe. I, after we get past St. Patrick's Day, I kind of lose it. Uh, Thanksgiving maybe, if you're thinking right now about Thanksgiving, Halloween, any of your you know Christmas or December holidays, you could be thinking about social posts you want to make right now and schedule those right now for that future date. Here in the center of our social post screen, we can now see live and scheduled posts. And sure enough, Wednesday, April 30th, I've got a post going out at 9 a.m. on both my Facebook and my Instagram channels. And if I scroll down inside, you can see that it gives me, hey, Wednesday, April 30th, you've got this post going out. In addition for social posts, we've got what are called quick posts. You saw those on our dashboard here in the center. And they're also in our social post tab here on the right hand side. So what's a quick post? Well, very similar to what you what it sounds like. It's a post that would be ready to go without you having to do much of anything. So here's one I can just click on, right? And it's got the media, it's got the text content, things that are super popular right now, pumpkin spice, football, crazy, cozy clothes, new homes. Probably not the best post to be making right at the beginning of summer. Um, but you know, you could schedule this for maybe the week of October 1st or something along those lines, right? So you could be thinking about this post and get it scheduled out in the future, but that's what a quick post is. It's a post that's ready to go, right? So we can choose this one. Do you know your credit score? If the answer is no, don't sweat it. Um, and again, it says this holiday season, so something you may wanna you know, check out and, and change. Uh, it says, where do you find your score? You might want to include some links there so they could click on that, uh, make that a little bit easier for them. Also, when you're in here in the quick post, you can also choose to shuffle the verbiage. And here we go. What do selling your house and putting on sunscreen have in common? If someone doesn't have your back, you're going to get burned. That's a little cheesy, but it works. So here is right some other quick posts within the quick posts. So if you're one of those people that just can't think of anything social to go out on your channels, but you know you should be posting to your social media channels, quick posts are a great way to make sure that your content's being seen. Um, as we get closer and Wednesday actually comes and goes, as your posts go out, you can even start to track the metrics of those posts. So you can see on Facebook who liked it, who commented, who shared, and then on Instagram who liked it and who commented. So these little trackers will turn into numbers. If for any reason you're like, oh no, I missed something, or uh, well, that house went under contract, don't need to publish it anymore. <coughs> you can always click on the three dots here <clears throat> and choose to edit post or delete the post. Since this is a fake post, I really don't want going out of my channels. I'm gonna go ahead and choose to delete that now. <clears throat> so that's really it for social channels, or social posts, excuse me, on your social channels. You can see here on the home screen, you can choose to see what's going out on Facebook. We're not really posting to Twitter anymore, but Facebook and Instagram. You can scroll through the weeks, such that if you have posts going out again next week, the week after, you can see what you've scheduled previously. And again, then see in the week of what you've got going on. You can also create social posts from this week of or from Create Campaign. So highly recommend, get in here, make some quick posts. This one is actually the uh, neighborhood video. It just actually allows you to create it from within the design. We showed you how to do that a few days back. Uh, so one more quick post around your neighborhood marketing videos. Tomorrow we're going to dive into a new type of campaign. So stay tuned for that. As always, I hope you're doing a, having a fantastic day, doing really well. And I look forward to speaking with you again soon.